Hey guys, welcome back to another how-to tutorial video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to stream movies from your Windows 10 desktop to your iPhone device. So now, I've tried a bunch of other apps before, another a bunch of free apps, and it just didn't work properly, so I decided that I'm going to give Air Video HD a try. Now this app costs $3.99 in the Apple App Store, and then this Get Air Video Server HD for Windows is completely free, this is just the, for the server side. So again, the app does cost $3.99, but honestly, it is completely worth it. I've tried other apps like VLC Streamer, which is free, and it just, it did not work. And then I tried Plex, which just put a bunch of malware on my computer, and uh, I tried deleting it. I used IOBit uninstaller for that. But anyway, I don't want to get into that now. I just want to show you guys how to stream from your, from your Windows 10 PC to your iPhone device. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get Air Video Server HD for Windows. So you're going to head on over to this website. I will have that in the description of this video. So you can just copy and paste that in there. Go ahead and head on over to there. Click on this Get Air Video Server HD for Windows. And we're just going to download that. I've already downloaded it a few times. Once it's finished downloading, I'm going to go ahead and double click it. So first I'm going to open up the folder. Let's minimize that web browser. I'm going to go ahead and double click that. And it's going to go ahead and unpack the data and I'm going to go ahead and click on next, install, and it's about 37 megabytes. So it's a very small program. And now I'm going to start Air Video Server HD. So I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. And now automatically the server is running. So I have all these settings already running and I'm just going to go ahead and remove this folder so that I show you guys how this is done again because I guess it saved it from last time. But anyhow, all these settings right here it automatically started up. And if it says server running, if it says if it doesn't, if it had it has not started, just go ahead and click on start. And uh, before we go ahead and go onto the iPhone device and install the app there, we're going to go ahead and click on add. And we're going to go ahead and click and find, go ahead and find your video files is actually what I'm trying to say. Because I'm going to go ahead and find mine and mine, I know mine are located right here in the C folder and in videos. And that's where my videos are located. So I'm just going to click on OK. And now all the videos on my Windows 10 PC that are in this folder are now available on my iPhone device with the Air Video HD app. So now I'm going to open up the Air Video HD app on my iPhone. And now you're going to go ahead and download it from the App Store. The app is called Air Video HD, and again, it costs $3.99. So now I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to connect them both together. Now, if you can't find a server, you're going to need to type in the pin code that you do see on the desktop, which is located right here. And there we go. It has found my computer. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on my local computer. And now, as you can see here, I have the videos within the um, within the app. My Windows 10 computer right now is syncing my videos folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and open that up. And as you can see here, it has all these files in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on one of my video files, the X-Men video, and I'm just gonna click on play. And as you can see, it is now streaming the X-Men movie from my computer onto my iPhone device. And that is pretty much how you guys do it. Anyway, if you guys are running through any problems, let me know in the comment section below and I will definitely try to help you out. And hey, if you guys want to see more content like this in the future, then do hit that subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for my next video on how to control your desktop, your Windows 10 desktop from your iPhone device. But otherwise, that is going to be it. Hopefully, this video did help you out. If it did, leave a like. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next tutorial video.